We've got baseball. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Los Angeles Angels. Major League Baseball right here on 2K Sports. How to describe him? Well, how about as a winner? Mike Burley, he'll be putting his stuff on display here today. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. Here today, a day game, Angel Stadium, one of baseball's most beautiful yards, the site for our ball game. The starter, Joe Saunders. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? A quality left-handed Joe Saunders out on the mound, and a guy who can get lefties and righties out equally as well. He commands his fastball, and he can run that fastball up in the zone by hitters because he has some deception, but a quality curveball, cutter, and changeup as well. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Gian's got going. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Fantastic story this season. That's 14 in a row that they've put away in the W column. They are on a roll. It's all in one as he swings and misses at that fastball. And they just issued a shellacking in that last one. Well, anytime you post double digits, you win. Strike two there. Saunders, he's got him where he wants him, 0 2. Well, the two seamer has his timing way off. He swung and missed, swung way too early. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. Oh, uh, we only got to see three pitches now. Unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Well, last line shot into center field. And it's caught by Hunter. Two away. Here's how the Angels stack up on the diamond. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, solid defensively up the middle. Eric Ibar is a guy that can make every play defensively. He has terrific range and has all the ability and instincts to make plays. That's it, foul by Canerco. Saunders with the delivery. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. And a quick inning for Joe Saunders. A handiwork already on display. Strikes out two to start this ball game. Mark Burley is going to be pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. And he gets into the Angels lineup now, John. What about what he's thinking about? Well, don't blink your eye on this one, because if you do, you're going to miss some pitches from Mark Burley, the quickest worker in all of baseball. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And Ibar is retired. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have. It's brought to you by Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, after his breakout 2009 season, the confidence in Kendrick Rowell just continues to grow. The switch hitter, the middle of the lineup, a first baseman, what you want from him, power and production. He gives that to you. Hit on the ground. Played by Canerco. And he steps on first. That's the second out. It's Morales at the plate. Ace is empty and two down. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. And you can throw the ball down to the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Called strike at the letter, so he's got him in the hole now, 0-2. The hitter has to be protective. He has to be able to fight off that tough pitch and put it in play for a base hit if he can. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So Mike Burley gets him, 1-2-3. He gets through the first. And an enjoyable afternoon. Light clouds overhead. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Leading the MLB in batting average. Saunders with the delivery. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. Lined right at the second baseman. And it's in there that hitting streak continues. 
That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Having to fish for that one, nothing and one. He deals. And that's on the black for a called strike, nothing and two. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. Swing and a line drive. Over to second for one. And they turn the double play. Nice play, especially on the relay first. 4 6 3. Now that's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. First pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed 0 1. A little too eager, and he's behind 0 and 2. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. And that's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Here are the bats making the noise this past month. The State Farm leaderboard, batting average. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Fast ball, swung out and missed, 0 and 1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Strike two there, Saunders. He's got him where he wants him, 1 2. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter, swung late. So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Cutter just misses, 1-0. One zero on the way. Well, he looks at a changeup in there. One and one. Well, this is a pitch that should be clobbered, but he just couldn't pull the trigger on. It. He watches the one one pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. There is a swing and a liner. I come able to pull that one in. Yeah, a little ways to go here in the season. The American League wild card. How's it look? Well, let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. Yankees in second place. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. In fourth place, it's the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. Hit hard on the ground to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And Hunter is retired. And it's Juan Rivera at the plate. Rivera. Burley with a delivery. Ground ball headed for the middle. Beckham throws the first side is retired. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning and nobody left on base. On screen now, there's Mike Sosha. The skipper that's happy not to have given up any runs yet, but watching for that opportunity for his offense to get on the board. Fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Uh, Gary, I think he decided that was a pitch he needed to take as soon as it came out of his hand. Just can't handle that fastball up and away. He makes contact, line drive. And he can't make the play. This could be trouble. And it's up against the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Number 27. Well, great hitters get hits at just the right time. And this double right here with no one down is a nice leadoff hit to get the offense rolling early here in this inning. And as Jim told me in the box now, right there in the top five and home runs. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. 0 1 offering. Saunders. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. 
Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. So a runner in scoring position for Johnny Damon. One of the best batting averages in the league. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And through it goes. The hit streak is on. And Creedy comes home. And the openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are hot. Alexi. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And uh, in the batter's box, it's rim hit sharply towards the hole. That's Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. There's a swing and a long high drive hit deep to right center field. Now they lead by four. A three run homer. At the plate. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 20. One out, faces in. First pitch to Quinton. Circle change, cut on and missed 0 and 1. Steve, they're starting to run away here, even though it's early in the ball game. Uh, the offense putting real pressure on the pitching. Well, taking advantage of the mistakes by the pitching staff and capitalizing on it. And when they get back out there, they need their pitcher to put up zeros. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. About his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And Beckham's in the box. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the Angels. And the first pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. And it's going to be Hunter. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Good early offense here in the third. They'll try to hold on to that. The White Sox have the lead, 4 to nothing. It's Mike Napoli to lead it off. Number 44, Mike Napoli. Burley with a delivery. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. We're seeing some late September baseball now, looking at the State Farm standing board. This is how the Central Division stands. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. Fouled off. Oh. Abreu fouls it off again. Oh. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Boy, a nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't dabble around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted. Just three pitches over the plate. Sits him down. And we've got his tourist batting. Gone six out of 14 against Mike Burley. Hard grounded a short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on the first in time to retire the side. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And Alex Surrios to lead off. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And Napoli spotting the pitch. That's hit foul by Rios. Oh, one offering Saunders ball one. and Rios looks at that one for a ball that'll even the count. 
Well, he had the right idea in mind, trying to get that fastball down and away. Just missed. Now let's see how he comes back with the next one. The 2-1 pitch. Rio swings and misses with an even count now. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Curveball in there for a called strike three. Well, he starts this curveball at the hitter's head and then break it to the inside corner. It causes the hitter to get the jelly leg and just give up on it. It's going to be Przinski in the top ten in hits. Line towards second. And that'll put Przinski on first. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels and how they rank in the American League right now. 30 stolen bases, fifth in ERA. They also show up in the top five in home runs in their league, showing that power is a major part of this club's offense, that ability to bang it over the wall. That's going to bring Joe Creedy up. He doubled at his last appearance. Saunders with the delivery. Swing and a shot down the left field line. It's off the wall and a hop. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double, put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice, short, compact swing. And as Jim Tom there's a swing and a hit deep into center field. Way back there. Goodbye. Home run good for three. He gets three guys home. Now they lead by seven. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Base is empty with one away. First pitch on the way to Damon. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And another one. It's contagious. Let's take a second to view the top overall power hitters in the league on the State Farm leaderboard. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. And we'll get to see Todd Wellemeyer pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Pitch on the way. Well hit towards the middle. One. And two. They pull off the double play. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue. Eric Ibar leading it off. Number two. And the first pitch. And he lays one down here. And Grady picks it up. And he throws on to first for the up for the win. Well, he's clearly butting for hit all the way here, but not able to get it where he wants to, and they were able to make the play. Ball one. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate, and should they be more aggressive right now? Halfway that time, it's a call strike anyway, two and one. And Burley sends the two one pitch. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. The pitch strike called two. strike two. When you throw that breaking ball, you want to throw it down in the zone to get the hitter to chase or just get the bottom of the zone for a strike. That's what he did. Ground ball, Creedy. And it's picked up. So Kendrick is down. Now look at the Western Division race. Late going. Here's our State Farm standings board. It's the Angels in first. The Mariners second place. In third, the Rangers. And in the fourth spot, the A's. It's Morales at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. And here's the first one. The pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Well, 
Good patience as Kendry Morales lets that one go by for a ball. Count is even. Now that breaking ball down and in is a tough pitch because the hitter oftentimes swings over the top of it or he pounds it into that front foot. The one two pitch. Morales makes contact. That'll be fouled away. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. The Angels still looking for a run. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. And he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's got one of the best averages in the hit up the middle. Man was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. Let's check out the league hit leaders courtesy of State Farm. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up for 20. Well, leading the league in home runs. Runner on first. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And in there, he's two for three today. The throw. Uh oh, here we go. Oh boy, this is getting ugly quick. There's the throw. Eyes oh, turned back the other way now. Uh oh, here we go. And they're still going after him. They had him stuck out there between second and third. He's tagged out. Now, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far, let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Hot shot towards the hole. Stepping up to the plate. Just, Just kind of lean in, in, Steve, and slap that Stepping thing the other way in that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI chance. Top five AL and runs scored. First pitch and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. Off the wall on a hop. And the throw. And Quinton's home. He scores. Umpire calls him safe ahead of the play. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. AJ presents. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. Here's the pitch. Fly ball deep left, but it'll end up in the seats foul. Here it comes. Swung on and missed strike two. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And that'll put him on another hit. Stepping up to the plate. Now he but tries to sneak one ball. down and in to Third get the strike three Number call, 20. but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead in the count, and then you give up a base hit. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. First pitch to Creedy. And that one fouled off by Creedy. There's a swing and a line drive. There's one. And two. Double play. Well, they strike for five base hits in the inning and a couple of runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Heart of the order due to bat next. If you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Leading it off, Hideki Matsui lined out last time up. Here's Matsui's first look. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never... Matsui, good contact. 
Todd gets down for the Angels. That'll be their first base hit. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. The four no-hit innings, and this team finally breaks through against this guy, getting their first hit of the ball game right there. But with Torrey Hunter in your lineup on an everyday basis, you expect great things from him. And they're expecting that from him today. Now, every once in a while, he has a tendency to be inconsistent. He'll go into a little bit of slumps. But when he's hot, he's one of the best. A swing line to left center. And Hunter's got himself a base hit. That's who he's headed to third. There's the throw. Safe at third. Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Number 20. You get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safe. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. And it's one Rivera now. Just a 214 career batting average against Mike Gurley. There's a ground ball played by Canerco. And up number one as he steps on the base. And they bring him home. Just find a way to get the runner in whenever you can. And that's what this offense does. Good, solid approach in the bat right there. It's going to be Napoli. Progress. They're happy to see it, but they've got to have some major production if they're going to get back into this. Out there, you know, the rally caps they're wearing are working. Believe it or not, they're working. By the way, your rally You're cap out. on you looks up to the plate of the Los Angeles Angels of I appreciate that. <laughs> well, at least they're back in this thing, and they, it, look, fans live to see the great comebacks. You never know. Burley with a delivery. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. Oh, you're way ahead of the game. Can't get him. The run scores on the error. Well, they pick up a run uh, with a little bit of help from the defense as they kick that one around. Not able to make the play. The run scores. Over near third. Yeah. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. They pick up a couple of runs on two hits. They strand no one. L.A. wants to get back into this one. They are moving in the right direction. It is Mike Sosia you're looking at. His club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning. Pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. The pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Retiring, tell me. Here we have a look at the teams getting on base the most often for the month. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Blue Jays in second. Third, the Mariners. Fourth, the Royals. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. It comes off the wall in left center. Damon heads for third. Now with one away, they've got a runner at third after that triple. Alexi Ramirez. It doesn't matter who's on the mound or what they're throwing, these guys can hit it. They are just together building confidence and whacking at it. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Great season, top 10 in RBI. Yeah. Oh. Two away. And they now score him. The One looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. And he starts Canerco out. Right. Swinging from the heels, and he missed it. 0-1. His career average and even 300 against the Angels. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up a run on one. And we've got his tourist batting. He's going to lead off on a half of the sixth inning. Number 13, Meiser is tourist. Ground ball, Creedy. And that'll sit down his tourist. It's Ivar at the plate. Grounded out last time. One out, nobody on. Burley with a delivery. Looks like the cutter that time for a called strike. 
Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Called strike, and it's on two. That's hit foul by Ibar. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. And it's Kendrick batting. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. And he takes the ball, 1 0. Batting 250 lifetime, 3 for 12 record against Mike Gurley. This is the inside corner that time, 2 0. Two, 0 on the way. The 2 0 pitch, a fastball taken for a strike. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. That's called for a strike and leaving the count at 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. The White Sox 10. Angels 2. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Guillen. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. They said his last time. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first for out number one. And Beckham's in the box. Trying to get here, just one for three thus far. The pitch swings and misses the slider. Oh, and what? But Gary Slider is such an effective pitch, and it, it, it's this guy's put away pitch. When he needs the big out, that's where he's going to go. Well, Wellemeyer gets him right there. That's strike two. You know, we talk about his slider. What makes it so effective is that break, that depth and width to the pitch. It, it goes through two planes, so it's tough to send. And Alex Rios up. And he starts Rios out. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And it's going to be Hunter. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Nobody left on base. No run. It's Morales at the plate. Struck out swinging his last time up. Number eight, Henry Morales. Now Brzezinski sets up. Hit hard to second. Beckham. And Morales retired. And here's the Ducky Matsui. One for two in the ballgame. Here's Matsui's first look. Head up the middle. And it gets through. Not bad. Two for three today. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that's going to bring Torrey Hunter to the plate. But when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. 0-1 oh, count as that started off with a strike. Okay, one out here in the seventh. That swung on and a liner here. Two down. And they'll hold him at first base. And one Rivera to bat. Ground out victim last time through. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Swing, soft liner towards left center. And it's through. Base hit, Rivera. That's who he's headed to third. The throw. No luck getting him a third. He's in there easily. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, this hitter absolutely struggles with that pitch up and in. And the pitcher threw it right where he wanted to, but he must have been looking for it because he got a great swing on it. Strike one! And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and, you know, they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Napoli will file that one away. There is a swing and a liner. And Ramirez fields the ball. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Leading it off, A.J. 
Krasinski. AJ Krasinski. Pitch on the way. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. I fooled him right there. That two-seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. The right center. And Abreu's going to play it. And he gets over and grabs it from the left. And it's Joe Creedy now. He hit into a double play as last time. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch to Creedy. And that one fouled off by Creedy. Swing, hot shot. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes, though, it's about a flare to the right. Well, good, solid, Jim fundamental, flary baseball, huh? And Jim Tomey had a home run back in the fourth inning. Ground ball to his tourist. Throws on to first side is retired. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Now, Angels, home half of the eighth inning. And you're looking at Mike Sosha. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. And Bobby Abreu to bat. He'll start things off. Bottom half, eighth inning. Burley with a delivery. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Abreu will foul that one away. Abreu battling here with a foul ball. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The foul fact ball. that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Swing, a little line drive towards the middle. And it's caught by Ramirez. And we've got a Sturris batting. 0 for 2 thus far. The first pitch. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. 1 1 pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And his tourist picks himself up a single. And that'll bring up Eric Ibar. Well, you know, Gary, I tell you what, most major league hitters would not even offer it that pitch. But this guy's one of those rare guys that absolutely loves that pitch down and in. That's why he got that hit. Here's the first pitch. Strike one! And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do. Headed for the middle. Streak continues. That gets in. Good offensive chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing it down there. Well, I'll tell you what. You have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Swing and a miss. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. It's fouled away. Foul ball! The pitch. And Howie Kendrick got a swing and a miss. He's gone. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two seam fastball taking. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Two men on and two men out. Now the first pitch. And the strike. Burley catches him looking. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for... A swing and a batted ball. Damon 
And in there, he has struggled today. Now finally a base hit in the record book. And as Curtis will score, Anaheim there continuing the bats are hot. Here's Matsui's first look. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. And that's a strike. Matsui now will have to protect that plate. Well, they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. Pitching well, eight strikeouts for him. And it'll be the White Sox. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Tripled in his last appearance. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. And he gets this one by him on one. He's one for three off Wallemeyer. Damon will foul that one away. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball at K-Cam. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. He sends this one in the air towards center. Two men have been put away. State Farm brings you a look at the group of arms with the best ERA for the month. The White Sox number one, the Orioles second, the Red Sox third, the Angels fourth, and at number five on the list, the Rays. We expect your starting pitchers to be pitchers that keep the ERA low, but when you watch these two teams over the last month, their entire pitching staff have been solid top to bottom. And anytime you have that in the middle relief and you have guys come in that can shut down a rally, you know that you have a special team. This is going to be a low scoring one. And that one's put away to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Aaron, up now, he's going to be the first at bat home half of the night. Number 25, Kanakoa. We'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten him a little bit earlier. 0 oh 1, Jenks kicks and deals. Doesn't offer at it. 1 and 2. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. One up. Big, big break on this pitch. The clock's in at 89 miles per hour. That's a lot of break for that hard pitch. And it's Juan Rivera at the plate. Lifetime numbers, 220 against the White Sox. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Rivera now got to protect that strike zone. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary. Hitting the spots and with great velocity. And it's going to be Quentin. And he gets to it and puts it away. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So, I mean, they're looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. First pitch on the way. And a fly ball, and this could be it. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory, a dominating performance, Gary. Now for our Pepsi Clutch performer, no surprise, you got to pick this one, Paul Canerco. Canerco just made all the difference. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. A couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top.
When you take the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. I guess it's that time again. We wrap up this 2K Sports broadcast of MLB. John, Steve, our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Adieu, adieu.